Hey friends, welcome to Yoga with Rachel and welcome to your somatic chair yoga practice. So you can join today's class from a chair or a couch. In relation to the chair, please find one with four sturdy legs, a backrest, and no arms preferably. Now, if you find that when you're seated on your chair, your feet do not quite reach the ground, it's all good. Feel free to place some stacked folded blankets or even yoga blocks beneath your feet as a way to lift the earth up to meet you. All right, without further ado, let's explore. As you arrive, whether you're choosing to sit on a chair or a couch, the invitation is to explore a gentle stretch. It may feel welcome in your body to reach your arms overhead, stretching from side to side. You may feel an urge to yawn or sigh. Let this stretch feel good. When the stretch feels complete, I invite you to rest your hands on your thighs. For the next part of our practice, you're welcome to allow your back to rest against your backrest, or you can sit upright with a long spine, whichever feels best. Take a slow breath in through your nose, and on a slow breath out, I invite you to soften your focus or close your eyes. Observe how your feet connect with the earth. Take note of which toes and the parts of your feet that feel grounded. Sense how the weight of your body is being softly held by your chair or couch. Scan your body for points of contact with the surface beneath you. Notice how this connection feels in your body. Feel your hands gently resting on your thighs, noting the temperature and the amount of pressure. Sense the swirling air entering your nostrils as you breathe in. And notice the sensation of the air being softly released through your nose or mouth as you breathe out. Kindly explore a few more cycles of breath on your own, following the flow of your breath. An invitation to gently scan your body, starting at your toes and gradually moving toward your head. Notice what's present for you, whether that's sensations of ease, openness, tension, or restriction. This scan invites you to explore your inner landscape with curiosity, welcoming whatever you observe. Breathe in through your nose. Breathe out through your nose or your mouth. Please bring your palms together and then begin rubbing your hands together. It may feel welcome to pick up the tempo to create some heat between your palms.
When your hands feel warm, you're invited to either place your palms over your eyes, or you can gently rest your hands on your heart space. Sense the warmth of this connection and the gentle tingling sensation. Take a slow breath in through your nose. Breathe out through your mouth. In your own time, release your hands to your thighs. I invite you to sit near the center of your chair or couch, allowing your feet to be firmly planted on the earth. Explore finding length through your spine. On a slow breath in, gradually lift your shoulders towards your ears. And on a slow exhale, gradually lower your shoulders away from your ears. On your next breath in, slowly lift your shoulders towards your ears, pausing at the top to notice the sensation of muscular tension or effort. And on your breath out, slowly melt your shoulders away from your ears. This time, observe what muscular relaxation feels like. I invite you to explore this once more on your own, exploring what tension feels like, and what ease feels like in your body. Beautiful. Take a moment here to notice what's present for you. When you feel ready, place your left hand just below your right collarbone Gently press your left hand in towards your body and then down slightly. As you maintain this gentle pressure, slowly turn your head to look towards your left shoulder, exploring a range of motion that feels comfortable. You can explore a gentle lift of your chin. Allow your sensations to tell you what feels good and nourishing here. You can come in and out of the stretch as often as you would like. Explore creating space between your teeth to invite the muscles that support your jaw to relax. And finally, an invitation to send your breath into sensation. When you're ready, return to center and release your left hand to your thigh. You can roll your shoulders forward, up, and then back a few times. In your own time, kindly rest your right hand just below your left collarbone. Gently press your hand in and then down slightly as you slowly turn your head to look towards the right. You can explore a slight lift of your chin if that feels good. And once again, an invitation to come in and out of this stretch. You can pause at any point to breathe into sensation, following what feels good in your body. Lovely. When this feels complete, return to center and release your right hand to your thigh. It may feel welcome to explore some soft and gentle movement with your neck and shoulders.
on your next breath in, reach your hands towards the sky. And on your breath out, interlace your fingers and then gently rest your palms against the back of your head near the base of your skull. You can invite your thumbs to extend down your neck. As you breathe in, explore a gentle lift of your chest and your chin, inviting your elbows to open wide. And on a slow breath out, round through your spine, releasing your chin closer towards your chest and inviting your elbows to move closer together. Your hands are resting softly against the back of your head, providing support without forcing the stretch. I invite you to explore this movement a few more times on your own, opening up on your breath in and curling inward on your breath out, flowing between expansion and contraction. In your own time, find a neutral spine and invite your hands to rest on your thighs. Breathe in through your nose. Breathe out through your mouth. Take a moment to observe whether any sensations are present. This could be a physical sensation, a feeling, an emotion. Lovely. When you feel ready, gently place your hands on your belly. As you breathe in, invite your breath to flow towards your hands. Sensing the gentle rise of your abdomen on your breath in. And then the soft contraction on your breath out. An invitation to explore a few more rounds of belly breathing on your own. It might be helpful to close your eyes, inviting your attention to turn inward. An invitation to continue this breathing pattern as we bring some more movement to the body. Gently release your arms to your sides with your palms facing upwards. On your next breath then, slowly float your hands towards the sky. And on your breath out, turn your palms so that way they're facing away from each other and then imagine that you're pressing something down with your hands as you gradually lower your arms to your sides. On your next breath in, allow your palms to face upward as they gently flow towards the sky. And on your breath out, turn your palms outward and then imagine pressing down on an invisible object while slowly lowering your arms to your sides. I invite you to explore this movement once more on your own. Observe the sensation of gently reaching your hands overhead and notice how it feels to add a little bit of resistance or effort as you move in the opposite direction. With your hands resting on your lap, sense and feel how that movement felt in your body.
If you're up for some more guided movement, kindly walk your feet wider than hip distance apart. An invitation to explore a gentle upper body sway. As you sway, observe how your weight is shifting from side to side. Observe how this movement translates up through your spine. Notice areas where you feel easeful movement and also areas of restriction. It may feel nourishing to explore what it would feel like to curl inward as you sway. And maybe you slowly lengthen through your spine as you continue this swaying motion. When this movement feels complete, please explore stillness. Breathe in through your nose. Breathe out through your mouth. Beautiful. With your hands on your lap, explore some torso circles. It may feel good to breathe in as you shine your heart forward. And then on your breath out, you round through your spine. You can decide upon the range of motion, the number of repetitions, and whether you'd like to explore the spinal movement in the opposite direction. Allow your sensations to guide the movement. In your own time, explore stillness. Breathe in. Breathe out. Soften through your right arm as you slowly lift your right hand towards the sky, inviting your eyes and your head to follow the movement. And then gently lower your right hand to your side. You are welcome to continue this movement, or you can explore slow and gentle arm circles, following the movement with your eyes and your head. Observe how your body responds to this movement, sensing where you feel movement taking place. In your own time, release your right hand to your thigh. Now, an invitation to explore this movement on the left side. Slowly lift and lower your left hand, allowing your eyes and your head to follow the movement. You can continue this movement or maybe you wish to explore some arm circles, allowing your body to respond naturally to the movement.
When it feels good, release your left hand to your thigh. Take a loving breath in through your nose. Breathe out through your mouth. Please walk your feet back in so that way they're about hip distance apart. Gently take hold of the sides of your seat. Slowly lift your right foot away from the ground, exploring a height that feels comfortable in your body. Pause here to notice which muscles are engaged, observing where you can feel the effort in your body. And now, very slowly, lower your right foot back to the earth. Pausing here to notice what muscular relaxation feels like. Okay, slowly lift your left foot away from the ground. Pausing here to notice where you can feel the effort or the muscular activation. And then gradually lower your left foot back to the ground. Pausing at the bottom to sense what muscular relaxation feels like. I welcome you now to speed up this movement, alternating between right and left sides, observing how your entire body responds to the movement. Even though the action originates in the lower body, you may notice ripples of this motion extending into your upper body. It's a great reminder of how everything is connected. When this movement feels complete, please explore stillness. Take a slow breath in through your nose. Breathe out through your mouth. Please widen the gap between your feet and then turn your toes out slightly. Feel free to make any adjustments to the placement of your feet as you explore this next movement. Gently rest your right forearm on your right thigh as you reach your left hand overhead. Breathe in. And on your breath out, explore reaching your left hand towards the right. An invitation to come in and out of this side body lean. You can open up or curl inward. You can explore wiggling your left fingers and your left toes to help sense where your body is in space as you send your breath into sensation. Beautiful. In your own time, return back to center. Pause here for a moment to sense what's present for you. Invite your left forearm to rest on your left thigh as you reach your right hand overhead. Take a loving breath in through your nose. And on your exhale, reach your right hand towards the left. The invitation here is to explore what would feel good and nourishing in your body. When this movement feels complete, kindly make your way back to center. Breathe in. Breathe out. 
please walk your feet back in so they're about hip distance apart. I invite you to lift your right foot away from the ground and allow your hands to take hold of your right shin, lifting your knee closer towards your chest. With your hands supporting your right leg, gently drape your right ankle over your left thigh. It might feel nice to flex through your right foot, as this can provide support for your right knee in this shape. Gently rest your hands on your right shin. And you're welcome to remain here in an upright position, or if it feels good, gently fold forward, exploring a range of motion that feels nourishing in your body. You're welcome to explore some ankle rotations. It might feel nice to move your spine in a wave-like motion. And wherever you've landed, I invite you to send your breath towards your right hip and your glute. When this feels complete, kindly make your way out of the seated hip stretch. With both feet planted on the earth, I invite you to gently scan the right side of your body, noticing any sensations that arise. Then when you're ready, move your attention to the left side Noticing what this side might be telling you. When it feels good, kindly lift your left foot away from the ground and hug your left knee in towards your chest. Gently place your left ankle on the top of your right thigh. It might feel welcome to flex through your left foot. Once again, the invitation is to find what feels good for you here. Observe if your body is seeking gentle movement, or if stillness feels more soothing. This inner listening is a way to honor your body's wisdom. In your own time, transition out of the stretch and release your left foot to the ground. Take a nourishing breath in through your nose. Breathe out through your mouth. With both feet planted on the earth, start lifting and lowering your heels. Feel free to explore this at a pace that resonates with you, whether that be a slow, relaxed pace, or perhaps it would feel better to pick up the tempo. As you explore this rhythmic movement, observe how this motion travels through your body. When it feels good, explore stillness. Reconnect with your breath and notice what is still moving even in the stillness. What sensations are surfacing and where do you feel them in your body? For our next exploration, you might find it helpful to widen the gap between your feet to about shoulder distance apart. On your next breath in, float your hands towards the sky 
and on your breath out, fold forward. You can wrap your arms around your thighs as you bow your head, or you can release your fingertips to or towards the earth. If these options don't resonate, feel free to rest your forearms on the tops of your thighs as you direct your focus towards the ground. With every exhalation, the invitation is to let go of something that isn't serving you at the present moment. It could be a persistent thought, an area of tension in your body, or an emotion that feels stuck. Allow your exhalations to invite a sweet release. Breathe in through your nose. Breathe out through your mouth. Very slowly, roll up through your spine to the halfway point, resting your forearms on your thighs. Pause here for a moment. When you feel ready, Continue the slow roll up through your spine. Take a quiet moment to observe what is arising within your field of awareness. All right. I invite you to walk your feet back in until they're about hip distance apart. Feel free to explore any final movements your body is asking for. When this feels complete, kindly explore stillness. Gently rest your palms on your lap. Observe the sensation of your hands resting on your lap, noting the temperature and the weight. Observe how your body is being held and supported by your chair or couch. Notice how your feet connect with the earth, which parts are connected to the ground, and which parts are lifted away. Observe the physical sensation of your breath moving in and out of your body. Take a slow breath in through your nose and let your breath go with a sigh through your mouth. Twice more, just like that. Breathe in. Sigh it out. Breathe in. Breathe out with a sigh. I invite you to take a moment to thank yourself for carving out time for the self-care practice. A self-hug or placing your hand on your heart are lovely ways to express that appreciation and gratitude. Thank you for choosing to be here 
and for sharing your time and energy with me. Sending love and light to you. We close our practice by saying thank you for Namaste. Namaste.